I want to say that this is problem is done very similarly to the last one we did, number four over here, um, and it can be factored exactly the same way, but you can also do the quadratic formula. So you go through the quadratic formula process and, and you'll get your roots, x equals and then you know whatever it is. Um, this again set up sort of the same way. I could find roots, but it tells me to find the vertex. So again, if we have a coefficient in front of x squared, there's a different way we've got to kind of do things. So this is to complete the square. But we're going to kind of sequester the 9. We got a 2x squared mi minus 12x. And I'm going to move that 9 over to the other side. Okay? So y equals. So if I move it over there, it becomes a minus 9. Okay? So I've got a y minus 9, at least temporarily. And it's, it's another way to say, okay, we'll do stuff to this side, and, and, and that way we don't have to kind of move it over to the other side. Anyway, we're going to take out the 2. Even though we can take out a 2x, I only want to take out a 2. So I've got an x squared minus 6x, and i got space to add something there. And that something, b over 2 squared, is 9. So I'm adding 9 to both sides. Now, uh, again, in the past, we've also done the add 9 and subtract 9 times 2. But let's do this. If I have stuff on the other side, I can add 9 here and add 9 here. Also, remembering I'm multiplying it by 2. Okay, so I can clean up this side here. I get a 2 times x minus 3 squared. And on this side here, I've got a y. Um, it's a minus 9, but then a plus 18. So that's a y plus 9. Okay, and so now I've got if I move the 9 to the other side now, if I subtract 9 from both sides, my equation is y equals 2 times x minus 3 squared minus 9. My vertex now is 3 comma negative 9, 1, 2, 3, negative 9, and I've got my vertex there. I've got a y-intercept at positive 9, that's way up here, and uh, I could find roots, but it wasn't really asking for that, so it's uh, going to look kind of like that.